In this episode we are going to capture Bern and recapture this settlement here and hopefully take the fight to the Moors as well. And our aim also is to reinforce our armies by recruiting some additional Genoese crossbow militias and mercenary crossbowmen. Welcome to Quality Olds Games. Today we are having part 3 of the Milanese campaign and uh, it's with crossbows only. So, without further ado, let's make some buildings and um, see how we can proceed. So it seems the Milanese might want Venice back. And I think, thanks by the way, the comments for the previous videos, I need to take a better care of my generals and keep them out of friendly fires way. So in Florence, I think we will go with town watts so that we can at some point recruit those crossbow militias. And here we have uh, one enemy general. I think we should be able to take him out rather easily. And I think we should start preparations for an army and fleet to take back the castle that the Moors managed to capture from us. Okay, it seems the enemy general is on the move. And let's hope we can get a couple of volleys off before we need to engage in melee. And these crossbows really are quite efficient. Okay, nice. Mm. Okay, so that was rather nice. Some additional money, but uh, practically there is no effect for the enemy force that they released the prisoners, or rather ransomed the prisoners. And I think we have a turn. Okay, we have Danish army here. And in Milan, hey, we have, I guess we received two units of peasants as reward. Nice. And it seems there is a rather large Venetian army there, but I think we should be able to hold. And finally some new troops and perhaps we should try to improve those troops we have there 
or rather we can train there and here I think we need to get um, this uh, building high enough tier so that we can get crossbows from there so without further ado I think we have once more a turn Perhaps we should train a diplomat because we have quite a lot of money, so I think we could be able to buy off at least some of the rebels there. The enemy lay siege, my lord, but God is oh, and it's nice that the Venetian army there turned rebel. So that will give us a bit of additional protection there even though it will disrupt trade a bit at least and it seems a crusade has been called towards Cairo hmm. in Genoa perhaps we should build that leather tanner and let's train the diplomat as well in Florence. I think town guard will do just fine. And in Venice, I think leather tanner as well. We shouldn't have too much corruption at least there, so things should be rather okay. And where is that new family member I think he shall join the crusade and how many units did we need to actually begin the crusade well I guess we will just go first to recapture this settlement here and after that join the crusade. And uh, let's see if we have any mercenaries available. Apparently not. And perhaps we could have diplomatic relations with Poland there. So, once again, let's finish the turn. This battle might be actually a pretty tough one, but let's see how we do fare. And I think this battle should go rather well for us. So, of course, the cavalry will be the primary target first and after that we want to hit everything the enemy brings towards us okay so time to fire At least that unit has been taken down. guard mode these guys should be able to fire crossbows in any case thanks for the tip 
in the comments. That's actually very useful. So, not too many enemies left, and one brave knight getting himself killed, and then we have some sergeant spearmen still incoming. Okay, that went quite well. Even though we suffered some casualties, they were quite minor. And I think we can afford to occupy it, since we don't have any monetary problems at the moment. And of course we want to train some units, so... Let's get things going for it. In Milan we have Leather Tanner. I think blacksmith will be next. Let's check no mercenary crossbowmen available there. But here we do have. And could we now join the crusade? Not yet. Then let's begin some diplomatic maneuvering. And here I think we should try to get this rebel general to join us. Okay, not then. What about that army? Let's see about it soon. Can we hire some merchants at least? Well, I don't get I don't think it's worthwhile in Venice, but let's see about Florence and Milan. And once again we have a turn. Oh, and they do have reinforcements. Okay. So those Norman knights are quite bad. Mm. I'm a bit afraid that we will lose this castle. But um, it won't go down without a fight. So there are ladders and battering ram and here at the back they have practically nothing. And I guess the ladders will be... ...on this wall, so we need to prepare to withdraw. But let's try to inflict as many casualties as possible... ...while the enemy is marching here. Let's see if we can move 
here directly from our current position. Okay, it seems we can do it. Excellent. And I think the rest of the unit should move as well. Come on. Our enemies and ladders have reached our walls. It is time for butcher's work. And I think from here we are in decent enough position to fire. At the enemy is coming to the walls. So that should be rather okay position at least for now. And I think these units need to move rather soon. And I think the position there will be decent enough. These wallies are not quite that strong. To arms, General! The enemy's ram has breached the gates! Okay, so these guys are following us. It's time to withdraw a bit further. We actually move here. I guess we could be able to break these guys here. With keeping enough distance but we need to move out a bit further back or perhaps we could fire one additional shot here I would really appreciate if you guys could fire at these knights. Excellent. And they are running. Nice. A new target. And there really was a new target. And I think we might actually be able to break the first enemy army. So these guys are at least still eager.
Okay, so okay, so these guys are rallying and coming back to the combat. Don't fire at them because you have much stronger enemy nearby. And of course hitting these closest troops here would be best because they are at melee range. And wavering. So let's hope we have what it takes to take them down. And the second enemy army is closing in on us, so it's imperative that we crush these as soon as possible. Excellent, they are fleeing. And then let's try to take down the rest of the enemies. Some mounted sergeants, mailed knights. Perhaps hitting those mailed knights or rather the whole enemy cavalry will do the most damage there. The enemy flees the battle. Okay, excellent. And now we should be in position to hit the reinforcing army here. And let's come a bit closer so we can hit those enemy cavalry units there. I guess it's fire at will. Oh, there is General's bodyguard. And that of course is a rather lucrative target. So we should be rather safe until the enemy infantry gets in. Holy Mother, save oh. us! Our enemy is in control of the port. Let's fire at the bodyguard here as long as we can and then try to rush to the city center. And it seems unfortunately that Italian spear militia is trying to hamper our plan. Let's hope we can do some damage to the bodyguard before we are forced to flee or to engage in melee. But I think it's imperative to have all of these crossbows in one group. So that when the battle ensues here we won't break as easily as otherwise would be the case. Oh. 
Okay, I guess the general got away and the city will be lost to us rather soon. But at least we beat the first enemy army there. And apparently these guys are not firing. Okay. So, we killed about twice the enemies we lost. Men of our own. And I think we have to calculate that we lost every one of them. That has been repaired. Nice. And let's see what we can recruit. So let's besiege Ayacho. And I think it should fall to us rather easily. Especially after we bring in some reinforcements. And I think that will happen next turn. And hmm. I think we should be able to beat this army. For us, I think it's not important to participate in the crusade, except that we want to keep the Pope happy. And because of that, I think we need to join it. As we are rather vulnerable in the early game, I think Papal Favor will at least somewhat mitigate that. And let's hope quite a few of those mailed knights will fall before they can hit our troops. So hopefully one volley before the impact, apparently. That was a bit too much to hope for. And they are breaking. Good. So it's basically fire at will. These guys are wavering. Perhaps we could break them. Yes, we can. And the crossbows hopefully can get some additional shots away. Okay, that was pretty easy. And let's bring the best we have to join the army there. And I think we can retrain these guys here. And um, hmm. perhaps we could have trade relations with Spain. And... Um, 
at least some map information. So, let's target that rebel army next. And what's about our mission in Poland? Let's see about that. And we have a turn. Okay, I guess something happened. Let's hope that was nothing bad, at least towards our family members. And um, we're doing okay. So in Florence. Hmm. I think we want the city to grow a bit faster. So it will need to have 6000 population before we are happy. So and in Bern we should be able to train those peasant crossbowmen rather soon. And let's check the availability of Mercenary crossbows not available. So let's get in here and try to auto resolve. Okay, nice. Let's repair and start with Boyer. And as for the rest of the army, I think we will leave a rather small garrison here, while the rest of the army sail sails towards Cagliari. And then let's see about our recruitment capabilities. At least one unit can be recruited, and perhaps I should send at least this unit to Milan to be retrained. And we should. Okay, so we should not attack Venice, we are complying with that. And we should join the crusade in six turns. I think we could be able to do that in time. I come as a peaceful of course, no, we I'm don't want to have a ceasefire. Because that would mean ceding one of our areas to the enemy. Oh, and I have those couple of merchants which I need to utilize. And okay. Milan, we have blacksmith, perhaps armorer, and in Ayatso we can continue building those. And here the enemy does not have. Oh! Hunting down that fleet is rather important. So let's get the army to the land and then I think we will train some additional ships to reinforce our navies there. And at the same time we could hunt down those enemy navy navies that are carrying enemy troops. So every city is building something. And this diplomat here is continuing towards Poland. And we have a turn. Uh, 
and joining the crusade is nice because that would lower the upkeep and succeeding in there should give us some experience and some pretty decent traits. However, it would be very difficult to get the army back. Hmm. Well, I have to say that that's not nice from the Pope. I thought we had a rather good relations with them, but apparently not. Nonetheless, Cagliari is ours and will remain ours. And it seems we have papal army here. Fortunately, we are allies, at least for now. And I guess we had some merchants here. Hmm, but nothing too valuable to trade, at least for now. Let's see about those mines there. Ready to and I think we have a turn. So I think basically we have completed what we set out to do, but I would really like to uh, recapture that Cagliari. We lost, I guess it was to Sicily. And perhaps we could bring this guy to Florence. And perhaps he could join the crusade when the time comes. In Bern we can start to train peasant crossbowmen. And perhaps we should make the other required inf infrastructure there. And it seems the Byzantine Empire has come here as well. Let's see if we could bring some reinforcements to the front. Okay, so it seems the Sicilians are happy to st stay besieged in the castle there. So that really inflicts casualties on them and as we are able to reinforce our armies there. I think the situation there should improve enough so that we can take the settlement there. And of course, we are not going to 
continue the hostilities because you are just maintaining status quo. I hope that the Pope understands this. So basically we have to recruit every unit we are able to recruit. Oh, so it seems he's not that good of a governor. And I think this fleet needs to be retrained. And um, we will see you dead, heathen. And we have ready this merchant play. here yes, moving. ready to start yes, trading. Opening trade lane. And we have a turn. But I guess we need to send another army on the crusade. And that's the Milanese or Sicilian army there. I just hope they also have the same PayPal bulla to seize the hostilities that we do have. Okay, I guess that's enemy there did turn rebel. And here I think we want to improve the finances. And in Bern, perhaps Leather Tanner and Priest, and we are getting into a point where we can almost continuously train those. Uh, at least those crossbow militias. Okay, so let's see about other factions. If we can improve the relations there. And since that fleet contains the army, I think we want to reinforce Genoa. And I guess we had or have a diplomat here. Okay, apparently the diplomat is not skilled enough. And it seems training those merchants is pretty much a waste of money at the moment. But of course, we really did not want to join the crusade in any case, so that's not too bad for us. But of course, if the Pope decides to become difficult, then it might get rather dire for us. Do we have some mercenaries available? Apparently not. Let's keep the fleet here just in case. So I think what I want to do in this episode still is to recapture Cagliari.
and we have finally that crop rotation here perhaps market and here blacksmith and in Ayacho a chapel and let's go hunting that heretic Hmm. Okay, that might actually be a bit difficult, but let's see. So that's a crusading army. Good, because it has rather hard time getting to the crusade target, and that of course will mean that some of the troops on the crusade will decide to abandon the course there. And that, of course, should make the situation somewhat easier for us. And if it actually manages to get to the crusade, that will be, of course, will that will be beneficial to us as well. So perhaps not the wisest of deals, but at least we got some. Uh, Knowledge about the Byzantine Empire. Okay, so they are actually going. Nice. Good riddance. And of course, after we have captured Cagliari, I think we might want to join the crusade as well. And it seems the cardinals are starting to die. I guess most of them are getting rather old. And these guys actually, yeah, they hit quite hard, but their defense is quite horrible. Let's actually see. So... Genoese crossbowmen and mounted crossbowmen. I think we want to upgrade the castles at least one level higher. So I think some fields are in order to do that. Hmm. That would be nice to have Bologna for us, but unfortunately we don't want to face that large of an army and we don't want to have one additional enemy, which I think will attack us in any case rather soon. that council chambers and in Ayatso perhaps land clearance and it seems the amount of money we have is starting to run a bit low of course we are starting to have rather decent armies at the moment so perhaps we should send the faction leader to the crusade. Okay, so too late it seems. Well, no matter. I think we have our hands full here as well. And this will hold for two more turns.
let's see if we need to declare a war against the, or rather let's see if the Byzantine Empire will declare, declare war against us that of course would make it a rather fine target but let's try to um, improve our area so that it will remain as one clearly cut so that all of the areas will be connected to each other and here we can get some additional crossbows and hopefully finally we can get these guys to reinforce Florence. March. Your orders, number one. And I think Cagliari should fall. And let's see about our popularity with Pope. Okay, it's rather good, it seems. And France has been excommunicated, so basically That means that we might want to de or rather sneak attack France as it's our neighbor. Of course, another avenue to expand our empire is southwards towards Sicily and other areas of Sicily faction. So that means southern Italy and of course northern Africa that's controlled most likely by Moors or by the Sicilians will make an excellent target as well. And I think we will auto resolve this since the balance of power is favorable and the enemy mostly has cavalry. So Okay, so Florence is besieged. I need to send some reinforcements there. This is not good, my lord. The enemy have laid siege upon us. Okay, so we captured a settlement from Sicily, but at the same time it seems we managed to cease hostilities with them. That's nice. Oh, that almost looked like a cardinal. Okay, nice. And here we want to be able to retrain or train crossbowmen as well. And let's do some scouting. So Tunis is controlled by the Moors, and that will of course make it an excellent target for us. And then, oh, we need to get rid of this general, but I think he can take the field against the Byzantine Empire near Florence, supported by the garrison in Florence. So, I think this is everything for today. Next time we need to take care of this Byzantine army. And I think our target will be to capture Tunis and probably the island of Sicily as well. But let's see. Thank you very much for watching, if you like the content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and feel free to post comments, give advice and ask questions and so on. Have a great rest of the day, quality old games, out!